Yes, here it is. Du, 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 du. Episode 50, my friends. We did it. We did it, everybody. The half century. Time to raise the bat. That's a cricketing reference right there. No one's going to get that. But trust me, this is a very significant and exciting milestone right here, my friends. And uh, I should probably say that part of the credit needs to go to you guys, my loyal fans, my watchers, the contributors to the blog. Thank you guys. Obviously, most of the credit still has to go to me, Barry Steak Fries. But just for this week, I'm going to throw some credit your way, Steak fans. Good on you. Sensational stuff. So, before we dive into this bumper, episode 50, uh, there's some awesome news, guys, out of the Heartbreak Labs this week. The game that some of you know as Booster Raiders is going global on Feb 28th, which is today, depending on when you're watching. If you're watching this vlog as soon as it comes out, which I assume that you are, then the game is going live today under the brand new title of Battle Racing Stars. Uh, and if you're watching this uh, for the second time, maybe you've watched it once and you've slept and now you're going back and watching it the next day to, you know, get all the stuff that you missed the first time round. It's out! Yesterday! It's out! Anyway, that's the point, guys. Very exciting stuff. Battle Racing Stars is global and uh, it's heaps of fun. You can trust me on this. It's kind of like a, a side-scroller, um, but you're with a bunch of other players uh, and you, you pretty much have to just run. You run through the level and you got to try and get to the finish line first. Like, uh, like a race, I guess. Uh, that's the idea. I probably haven't sold it very well there. But believe me, guys, if you haven't played this already, it is heaps of fun. You should definitely check it out. And of course, wouldn't be a half brick game without your old mate, Barry Steak Fries, making an appearance from the first character that you get, actually, as you would expect. So that's a great double whammy there for this week, my friends. 50 episodes, and your man Barry is the headline act in the new Heartbreak game. So Battle Racing Stars, give it a spin, you won't be disappointed, and we will be giving the new game plenty of airtime over the next few episodes, some game news, maybe some hints and tips, special guests. So if you enjoy it, keep watching. And if you don't enjoy it, keep watching. Anyway, 50 episodes, guys. How do we mark this occasion? That's the big question on everybody's mind this week. Do we look back? Do we look back over 50 triumphant appearances here on YouTube? I thought no. Barry Steak Fries thinks this is maybe a chance to look forward. Let's look towards the future. It's the start of a new decade here. It's an exciting time to be alive, my friends. Um, obviously, a very popular pastime is, is to make predictions for the next decade. So that's what I thought we'd do. I got some ideas of my own, you know? I got Barry Steak Fries ideas. Time to steak fries this up. Barry's predictions for the 20s. That's what we're doing this week to mark 50 episodes. So. Prediction number one, guys, there's going to be more jetpacks. That's, I mean, yep, maybe a little bit predictable there. I know what you're saying. Stop going on about jetpacks, steak fries, that's enough. But seriously, guys, I mean, I want to speak seriously and openly here to the, to the world leaders and the leaders of their particular technical fields. Isn't it time that we saw jetpacks make the move into the mainstream market? You know, become a legitimate form of transport. Like, it's the future now, right? 2020! We're supposed to have hoverboards by now. We were supposed to have them, like, five years ago. It's jetpack time now, guys. I think, in the future, we will look back on this era as the age of the jetpack. Am I wrong? Well, I can't be wrong. It's a prediction. Well, I can be wrong eventually, but not yet, that's for sure. So, that's my first prediction. Um... Some other things are going to come back, too, over the next next 10 years. Uh, my first guess, Prohibition. Uh, no real reason, just that it was all the rage during the last 20s that we had. And that was 100 years ago, so I don't see any reason why it wouldn't become cool again in these 20s. Uh, so Prohibition's coming back, and so are Hypercolor T-shirts. Do you remember those T-shirts? They changed color when they got too hot or too cold. They changed with the temperature. They were totally cool around the, I think, late 80s, early 90s. And everyone could totally tell when Barry Steak Fries had hot 
armpits, which was very important back then. Revolutionary technology at the time. And I'm, I'm saying right here, right now, they're gonna come roaring back into fashion. Um, on the subject of comebacks, guys, movie remakes, obviously, they're all the rage. Um, why come up with an original idea when you can just steal one uh, from, a, you know, a few years ago? And I've got a big prediction for the next blockbuster remake, The Rocketeer. Anyone remember that movie? It, it's pretty much my favorite movie, guys. Uh, the original's from 1991, and it's about this guy, and he finds a jetpack, and he rides it around, does a bunch of stuff, becomes a hero. I'm not making this up. This is a legit movie. Go and check it out. I'm pretty sure it's available to stream. Um, well, probably can't give a plug to the streaming service that it's on, but it's on one of them, so go find it. Um, and it's not Netflix or Amazon. It's the other one. Uh, anyway, it's a great film. I got a hot tip. It's going to see a big Hollywood remake this decade and just want to put it out there. Barry Steak Fries is available to play the lead. My acting is very underrated, guys. Anyway, I'm just going to leave that out there. And uh, last prediction, I'm going to guess that over the next 10 years, there's going to be just heaps of people walking around yelling, it's the 20s! It's a it's a pretty catchy thing to yell, and, and very true, you know? Lots of people yell stuff that's not true. I reckon everyone's just going to start yelling that. Just randomly yelling, randomly yelling that phrase out. I've already started doing it. Uh, it's not getting much traction as yet, and I'm being told to shut up a lot more than usual, but... But steak fries is a trendsetter, my friends. I'm not going to let that get me down. That's the trend I'm setting. That and hyper-colored t-shirts. So if everyone can start yelling, it's the 20s! Just right now, if you could, I'll give you a sec. There you go. It's good fun. It's good fun. Do that more and, and I'll be right on that prediction. Uh, Alright, moving right along here on episode 50, guys. Question time. Now, I put the challenge out last week for you guys to come up with some questions that were worthy of this 50th episode. Spectacular. So let's see how you did. Question one. Our Froxus the God Slayer says, if somehow you become president of the world, what would you do first? Oh my God, our Froxus! Straight off the bat. That is a top quality question, guys. You've done it. Well done, everybody. Especially our Froxus. Uh, that is a tough question, but I'm going to say that my first decree as president of the world is prohibition. There you go. Uh, second decree that Hypercolor T-Shirt Tuesday happens every week. Yep. Good start there from President Steak Fries. And a great start for this week's questions, guys. What else have we got? Uh, here's one. Gideon Brown says, Barry, if you go through life with any two jetpack joyride gadgets, what would they be? That's another great question. And that is even tougher than the last question. Um, does... Does my jetpack count as a gadget, or is it just assumed that I'm wearing the jetpack? Um, uh, is Flash a, is Flash a gadget? I'm gonna say Flash counts as a pet, and my jetpack counts as a permanent accessory. Um, so in that case, I'm gonna say the Profit Bird, because you know my jetpack maintenance isn't cheap, my friends. Um, and I'll take. Mr. Cuddles, I feel like if I'm going to rise to become president of the world, Fire Breathing Dragon might just come in handy there. Great question, Gideon. Thank you, mates. Let's keep moving on. Mr. Lord says, okay, Barry, because Frost Wyvern is apparently Mr. Cuddles' cousin, how are Chinese Dragon and Bone Dragon related? Um, oh, uh, also, would you race Dan the Man in Battle Racing Stars? Whoa, mate, you betcha. I would definitely go head to head with Dan the Man. Sounds like a great idea. Keep watching this space. We'll hopefully make that happen. Some live racing sounds great. Uh, and listen, Chinese Dragon, Bone Dragon related. I look. I don't know. Don't ask me to keep track of things like that, man. I I can't even remember my my own mother's maiden name, let alone how all of that fits together. Uh, so sorry. Don't know. Um, Car 29. Big questions aren't my thing, so I constructed 
three smaller questions to make up for it. That's kind of cheating, Car29, but let's see what you got. How's your family? How's your dog? How's your jetpack? Um, well, look, my jetpack's good. It's flying really well. Uh, the dog's great. Flashy boy is, is in fine form. Uh, look, my family's alright, I guess. Um, honestly, probably not something that I want to start opening up about on the vlog. Uh, but thanks, Car29. Good on you. Uh, Thomas, what do your... What do your parents think of your lifestyle? <laughs> um, do you have any other family members? Yeah, look, uh, again, what's what's with all the questions about my family, guys? Is this because of the old mother's maiden name quip from before? Look, don't worry about that. Me and mum are fine. I've got her maiden name written down somewhere. Uh, don't worry about that. I Look, I I know that I asked everyone for some good, good probing questions, but... I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't really think it would lead to people prying around my personal life, you know, look, just, I, I, I appreciate everybody's input, but maybe no more questions about, about Barry's family, guys, look, whatever, whatever deep family secrets I happen to be harboring, just, you just have to trust me that they're, they're better off left, left hidden, so, that's enough on that, uh, Al's Imagination says, hey Barry, do you think Dan's voice is kind of squeaky? Ha <laughs> ha! He almost sounds like a kid, even though he's an adult. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Great question. That is a yes from me. Dan with the little squeaky kid voice. Ooh, I'm Dan the man. Ha ha ha! Not a booming manly voice like me. All right, Barry Steak Fries. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, Dan. Great question there from Al's Imagination. That is a yes. And that will just about do us, I reckon, for this week. That has been a massive episode 50. Thank you to everyone for all the great questions. Please keep them coming. Maybe try and make them slightly less invasive. And let's let's leave the dark history of the Steakfires family away from the vlog. Uh, thanks, everyone. See you soon. It's the 20s! <laughs>